Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is Asnani and watching Trending Codes. So in today's video, we're going to create the soft UI which is trending in 2020. So this is called a soft UI as well as a new morphic UI. So you can see this text box or the text field which we call in Flutter. They are being designed a bit, bit totally different, you know, you, they have a couple of box shadow which is on the upper side it is having a white box shadow and downwards it is having a gray box shadow so we are going to design this single page that is a login page okay and let's get started okay so uh, you can get this code on the github as well and let's get started so i have a basic setup having a scaffold and inside the scaffold i'm having a column main axis is center so whatever we're going to do is is going to be a center and then i have a uh, scaffold background given to this color code you can get from the github or uh, you can just copy from the screen as well. Okay, so uh, If we just take a look over here, we have Welcome and sign in. So let's just do that first. So first we're gonna have a text saying welcome Right and uh, After that text we have something called sign in. So let's just see where our welcome is going to be right now okay and of course we need some padding so we'll wrap our column uh, with some padding uh, from all the sides let's let's just say 18 okay not 81 it's 18 <laughs> okay so uh, we're gonna have welcome over here and um, after that we're gonna have a text saying Okay, we're gonna have a text saying sign in, okay? But we're gonna add some style in the text, okay? And the text style is going to be uh, font to weight and the font size. So let's just take font size first and let's give 30.0 and font to weight is going to be a font weight dot the largest one that is going to be a 900, double 900, okay? let's just see so it is a sign in okay cool so now <coughs> we have a sign in over here but the cross axis alignment should also be uh, it should be from not center it should be start so cross alignment dot start okay cool that's what we need now after this what we have in the screen is we have something called email and then the text box so let's just go ahead and create a size box first to get some space so size box and it's gonna have a height of around 40.0 you know you just you you can just go ahead and create this uh, UI responsive but the main main focus is right now creating a soft ui that's what i want that's the reason i'm making the video okay now uh, the next thing that comes in over here is the another text saying that email right let's just save it and we have something like that now we're gonna create a container and inside a container we're gonna create a uh, we're gonna create a child which is going to be our 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 text fill and that text fill is going to have a decoration so the decoration is going to be uh, input decoration I guess yes input decoration and this decoration is going to have a no border because by default they, they gives us some border uh, it's input decoration not a decorator input deco okay we have input decorator uh, okay it's in, in input decoration not an input decorator input decoration and this decoration is going to have um, border and that in input border is going to be none right now and we're gonna have something called hint text that is a placeholder that's what called in css so we have something called a hint 
text which says uh, admin at live.com okay let's just see so we got something like that okay now let's just go ahead and create that soft fill to our input box okay the input fill so for that what you're going to do is you're going to create a decoration for the container and a box decoration and the important thing for the box decoration is you should have the same color as the background so um, what you're going to do is you're going to create a color over here and the color is going to be same as your background color that is the most important thing you should take care of so you, you just go ahead and create the same color and then you're going to give a box shadow okay and the box shadow uh, is going to be a couple of box shadow because we need to have a soft fill to keep and for that reason we have to give a couple of box shadow so the first box shadow is going to be our gray box shadow okay so the first thing which comes is um, the color that is going to be our color dot from RGBO that is nothing but the red cream blue and the opacity so first we're gonna have a gray color so zero 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 and this is going to be our 0 0.1 okay and then we're gonna have something called offset this offset is nothing but the x and y axis so the x axis is going to be uh, a 6 and y axis is going to be a 2 or maybe the perfect one just just take just let me yeah 6 and 2 and um, the other thing which we need to have is blur and the spread ratio uh, <clears throat> so we're gonna have blur that is going to be a 6.0 as well and a spread ratio that is going to be a 3.0 as well okay so let me just save this and let's just see what we're gonna have right now so we have something like this right away uh, on the screen so this is not giving a soft feel right now and the another thing is I need some size box after the email and the text box so I'm gonna put a size box over here and I'm gonna say 10.0 okay now how we can make you know the exact replication of the box shadow but the opposite side so downwards we need this gray color which is there exactly but upwards we need a white color so what we're we gonna do is we're gonna take this box shadow copy we're gonna copy it we're gonna hit comma and then we're gonna paste it over here first thing what you need to do is you're gonna change the color that is going to be a white color so 255 exactly for the white for red 255 for green and for blue 255 and 0 0.9 for uh, the RGBO now if you can if you just see that we have the white color down on the uh, on the gray color but we don't need that we need up, upside so what you're going to do is you're going to make your x axis and y axis negative so minus 6 and minus 2 now you can see that a perfect a soft fill or a soft corners of our of our whole uh, decoration but to make it more feel good you know you need to give a border radius so for that you're gonna have a border radius okay and that border radius border radius is going to be a circular and give a higher number 100.0 and now you just take a look it looks so perfectly fine right so now uh, in the same way we're gonna do this uh, replication of this container saying that uh, okay we're gonna have some size box as well so the container completes over here copy it and paste it the same change two things that is uh, even you need to copy this text also so before size box paste it over here and say it as password okay 
full and we need size box over here as well which is going to be um, about 20 or 30 okay so we have email password over here so let's just make this pop secure text true um, is it in decoration no uh, it should be over here up secure text true and what does that make is that make our um, password to look something like this so remove this hint from here and give some value so how we can give value is uh, or doesn't matter you know you can just uh, make the hint text to something like this cool doesn't matter so uh, we have a soft UI feel ready right away but we need uh, one more thing that is forget password of text something called a forget password so just go ahead put it over here and say for god password right and then um, we're gonna have a button right away after just copy the size box okay and we're gonna have a container okay a kind of same container because we need the uh, decoration same decoration so we're gonna have a decoration box decoration not shadow box decoration and this box decoration is going to have color that is going to be different right now but the box shadows are going to be same as the above so I'm gonna take this box shadow copy and paste the same box shadow cool right over here and the color is going to be okay let's just give a child first so a child that is going to be a login sorry it needs to be a text so uh, a login okay and let's just see okay it's just just like that right now okay doesn't matter uh, we gonna um, either we can we can use expand to make it feel more okay to take all the available space okay and uh, after that what we need to do is we need to give a color that is going to be over uh, say I mean the different color but I'm going to copy and paste the color but will change with the value so right over here I'm gonna have this color but from here I'm gonna take with with the help of color picker so all right just like that copy this and over here over here just paste it after the, the first three four values okay you see that and we got the chain right away but we need the border radius as well so i'm gonna copy the border radius also i'm so lazy to type you know <laughs> so um inside the box decoration after color i'm gonna put border radius and i'm gonna put some padding as well so the padding is going to be around from all the sides so how about 20.0 is it more yes I guess how about 15 okay this is fine now uh, we're gonna create the text style it's going to text style and we're gonna change the color first so that is going to be a colors dot white okay and uh, we're gonna change the size of font size 
as well and we're gonna make it 20.0 to it's more bigger how about 16 fine and I'm gonna use this inside and expand it so that it takes the whole available uh, okay so this is not inside a row so uh, I need a row to make it expand so I'm gonna say row and I'm gonna say children sorry I'm gonna set children over here for the row okay and it's just I'll just paste that cool now I'll say this row to get expanded so I'm gonna say uh, wrap it with the widget and the widget is going to be an ex expanded so let's just see uh, okay it is going to take Oh, okay because it's in column that is a uh, wrong use of that actually so inside a row you need to use an expanded okay expanded so that makes our whole uh, you know uh, button look something like this but we need to even make our text center so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use uh, center cool now we need some uh, um, how about if we use the box shadow of kind of same box shadow which is there inside this pack so the color of a box shadow is um, uh, this is box decoration shadow but we need the uh, background color okay so I guess this is the same I need to take from here now where is that background color exactly um, of the container is I guess the same one okay let me just try I'm gonna remove this background and I'm gonna give the same color over here to get a box uh, box shadow a pink pink box shadow the blur is more so you can you can reduce the um, blur radius a little bit or you can make it one and um, you can make this as two okay So um, this was all about making uh, the making the soft UI okay so what you can do is you can explore the different UIs from the dribble and you can start making the UIs the basic thing for the UI is you need to take care when you make a box shadow okay so I hope you like this video and if you liked it just go ahead and hit that like button and I'll see you in my next one. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support me. And let's see another UI design or maybe something else into a next video. Take care. Bye-bye.